Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Acronis Backup as the company reached out to me and some of you have even requested this in the past ever since I reviewed Cloudberry. I have been playing around with this product for the last three or four days and it does seem to be really interesting. So to start this off, I'm going to show you the basic setup and how the backup system works. Typically, you're going to have a web interface through which you can manage all your devices. So if you go into devices, you can see all the different systems that you have here and you can backup or recover. And it's really important that you can do this remotely so you don't have to necessarily be present on the system to back it up. Now on the system itself, you have this backup monitor agent that is always active. And if you click on it, it just shows you the basic status, but all the management and control is done via the web interface, as you would expect in an enterprise grade product. So this is really good for businesses managing a lot of systems and also for a personal computer. I kind of find this interface very nice for even individual management. It's really easy to use. But of course, we are not here for just the backup capability. We are here to test it against ransomware because this is the PC security channel. And that's where the best part comes in. So Acronis Backup seems to have this really nice ransomware protection feature, which is supposed to not only protect your backups, but also your files on the system. So it's not like a lot of the backup ransomware protection systems where it's like, okay, so if the ransomware is detected, it's not going to override the original backup with the encrypted copies. No, here they're actually trying to protect the data you have on the system. So it's like a traditional AV ransomware protection. So it's actually going to protect the data on your system and save you time. So you wouldn't even need to restore from backup. In theory, this is a great idea and we'll see how it works in practice. But before that, I'm just going to show you how you can do your backup. So when you click on backup now, it automatically does that because I have my plan set up but you can configure any number of plans that you like. So you just have to create a plan and you can give it a name. You can select what you want to back up, the devices that you want to back up. So you can also create plans involving multiple devices and all that sort of thing. You can specify where to back up and this is really cool. So Acronis have their own storage space. So you can actually use their own storage space. They have different plans for that or you can specify some other sort of storage if you want. You can also create one locally, which is something I wouldn't recommend because that would be vulnerable to ransomware encryption. But if you want to back up on a separate drive and disconnect it, you can also do that. You have all sorts of options for network folders, cloud storage. So you're good to go in pretty much every case. Other than that, you can obviously schedule it. You can decide how long you want to keep the backups and how many versions you want. So they do have version control, which is really nice. You can even encrypt the backups or convert it to a VM, which is, again, a really nice feature, which not a lot of tools have. But now we'll get to the most interesting part, which is the ransomware protection. And Acronis call it Active Protection. So if we go and open the Active Protection menu, as you can see, you have a lot of options what to do when a ransomware is detected. So at the moment, it is set to Notify Only, but if we click on it, you can see there are other options. So you can stop the ransomware process, therefore preventing any further encryption. You can also revert using cache, which means that the file changes will go back and technically nothing will be encrypted. So I'm going to select this option. It's going to be kind of aggressive, but we do want to check that out since we will be running ransomware on the system. And here are some really useful options too. So you can set trusted processes, which will be able to access your data without any problems. And you can also set harmful processes. I don't really understand why this option exists, but well, it's there. Now folder exclusion, so you can exclude certain folders and you also have the self-protection for the agent running on your system, which is very important. So I would recommend having that turned on in case a ransomware tries to turn it off and then do the encryption. So we're going to save these changes and apply it to our machine. And now that we're ready and our backup is done, by the way, you can check all your backups over here. So all you have to do is select your system and it's going to load all the versions for you and you can decide which version you want to go back to. So for example, if we wanted to recover the most recent version, you can see the date and time. And then you can see all the folders backed up. Right now I only backed up pictures and documents, but you can back up your whole system if you want. As you can see, this is all our backed up data. 
but it shouldn't be required since Akron has claimed that their ransomware protection tools should be able to take care of the ransomware on its own, preventing any encryption in the first place. So as I always do, I'm going to have one older ransomware sample and one relatively newer one. The older one, I'm going to go with the classic WannaCry. I guess it's old enough. And we're going to try and execute it, see what happens. Then we're going to try Facebook Locker, which is a much more recent discovery. So let's start with WannaCry. So it creates all its uh, paraphernalia. But so far, no files are encrypted. Let's see if any alerts were generated. And yes, as you can see, we have a critical alert. Suspicious activity detected. The file is caught, or the process, because it's more of a memory thing. And it even recorded the files it was trying to modify. And as a result, it was blocked. And I believe none of our files were affected. No. The original files are there. It did create the encrypted copy, but it wasn't allowed to delete the original copy. So all our data was safe. And we don't even need to revert to any backup. We can just delete this garbage and we're good to go, which is really impressive. I mean, this is what you expect from an AV program or a ransomware protection program, but a backup utility doing this as well, that is definitely a big plus. Now let's try Facebook Locker and see if it has any success. And boom, as you can see, it tried to load up the screen locker. I was expecting the screen locker to kind of go through, but the files to be intact, but it seems the screen locker was terminated as well. It works just like a traditional anti-ransomware tool. It detects the malicious process and just stops it in its tracks. And as you can see, it's done that. And let's see if any of our files were affected. The pictures weren't. See if in all this mess our documents are still there. Yes, they are. So the encrypted copies do get created, but the original copies stay intact. So I'm actually quite impressed with Acronis. Like I didn't expect it to go this well, especially given that this is more of a backup tool. It's not really a malware prevention tool so to speak, but it does its job and it does its job better than a lot of anti-ransomware tools I've seen. So Acronis definitely gets my recommendation. I'm actually very impressed. I'm really happy with this product and I would like to use it myself, honestly. So if you're looking for a good backup solution, this is definitely one to consider. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Acronis Backup. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know some of you are already using it. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the Peace Security channel if you enjoy my content. You can also support me on Patreon. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.